Hey guys, what's up? Jojo Hoss here. And I don't know why you have come here. It's because you need a fastest guide for what all Steam games to buy. I won't be doing any BS. Just straight to the point. I won't be telling why this game is good, why this game is bad. Just close your eyes and buy it and play it. You'll thank me later. So let's jump in. I won't even waste a single time of yours. So let's go. Right, the first and foremost thing that comes on your mind is the where should I search in? You're not searching anything. The games which are there right here, which are featured, are the good ones. Rainbow Six Siege, if you're a Jinxy Flan, go for it. Pal World, I won't suggest it because, you know, Xbox Game Pass is there. You can get it for free. GTA 5, if you have never played it in the 13 years of the launch, go and buy it. Uh, Elden Ring. Elden Ring is the only game which I would suggest you to buy because it's on sale and from software never gives you any sales anytime so just go and buy it 4005 again xbox game pass cyberpunk if you have no experience and you want to face the most iconic game which had shit start but had a good ending go for it hogwarts legacy if you are a hogwarts rpg game fan back in 1947 when hogwarts goblet of fire games like this were there then go for it it's good for the of uh, horizon forbidden west uh, I'll suggest you to buy the first one, play it, it's on cheaper sale. If you like it, then only buy it because 3100 3, is still expensive. FIFA 24 is nothing but FIFA for idiots. Anyone who's buying FIFA right now has to be brain dead inside. And it's pretty same game with the rooster or else the poster boy change. That's all. God damn. Uh, for the forest, skip it. Uh, and short, skip it. Uh, ready or not, skip it. Uh, Tekken 8, skip it. Any any 1000 rupees game above and you're getting a fighting game for 1000 rupees and above. You're dumb. Uh, last day about skip it, call it modern warfare, just save your money, don't waste your money, if you really want a new call it, wait for a few time, get the Black Ops 6, the new one, and then, just, just don't waste your money on modern warfare 3, uh, Rogue Trader, pass it, Dragon Dogma 2, too much glazed game, I don't think it's that great, uh, I mean, unless or until you're a Dragon Dogma fan, then go for it, but 4000 is too expensive, Elder Scrolls Online, you missed the chance if you got it free on Epic Games, so don't buy it, it, it might come again on Epic Games for free, Rest for the Wicked and Ubisoft, I don't think it's an Ubisoft game, yeah, I mean, if you like the top-down games like Diablo and stuff like that, this might be a game for you, or I'll just skip it, Star Wars Jedi Warrior, kind of cool game if you want to experience and if you're a Star Wars fan, but I won't, don't think, I mean, just wait for some new games to come in, because Outlaw is also going to come soon. Mana Lords, skip it. It's basically your Clash of Clans. But a bit Hi-Fi Clash of Clans. Not Hi-Fi. Yeah, I mean like... You know. Baltro, if you are into gambling and stuff like that. With a little bit of superpowers, go for it. Great game though. Baldur's Gate 3. Uh, 2023 game of the year. I don't think it's that great of a great game. I'll tell you. Suggest to people who will tell it. Go buy it. It's a great game. This I, don't, I suggest you don't buy it. It's not worth your time. I mean, it's too much story narrative. And I don't think you guys will be into it. So yeah, just skip it. Dead Island 2 was very hyped. Skip it. <laughs> Rather go and get a Dying Light copy. Uh, what is this? Armor Core? Armor Core 6. Um, you know, good game, but still expensive. Football Manager. Dumb if you buy it. Uh, Star Supermarket Simulator. Again, don't buy this thing unless you're a streamer or a YouTuber. Then only you can make content of it or just don't buy it for the sake of buying. Just play the prologue. Just go and play the house slipper. Not game for you. Content warning. Friends. Persona 3. Old game. Remastered. Don't even try it. It's still expensive. Uh, Deep Rock Galactica. Skip it. Uh, Total War Hammer 3. Skip it. Uh, Grand Blue Fantasy Relic. Skip it. Little Company. Again, friends. Like a Dragon. Might be a good game, but it's still expensive as fun. Uh, Rimworld. Skip it. It's still expensive. Yeah, so these are the games which I would suggest. The other games which I would suggest out of the Steam sales have to be Red Dead Redemption 2. I know people gaze around it around, but it's just an experience. Go buy it. It's on sale. Okay. Next, there are like few games. I'll I'll finish it faster. The few games that are like one, one is Life of P. It's expensive, but go and try it out. That's all. Borderlands 3 is also co-op. Ask your friend to buy it and you might play it. It's pretty good. I'm not even joking. It's pretty decent, which are pretty great. Pretty great game. One of them has to be God of War. If you haven't played it, it's okay, fine. No one judges you. But right now, it's on sale. It, it won't be on sale many times soon. All the PlayStation games are great. They are on sale. Go and try any one of them. Don't go. Don't be a dumb dumb and buy everything. Uh, this is for like 50% off. That's why I'm suggesting you. Along with that, there are a few games. Uh, Miles Morales is always on sale. Sackboy is always on sale. Spider-Man 1 is also always on sale. Just to think about it, uh, Days Gone, try the game, it's alright, it's not that great. An another one big game I have to say you is Sekiro Shadow Ride Twice. It's, it's, a, it's a good game, it's 50% off, that's why I'm suggesting it, or else don't even go and buy stuff like this. 
Also, again, one more game I would suggest is go by Stardew Valley if you have friends and if you really want to relax and play the game. It's very fun. You might get bored. You might put in 40 to 50 hours, but that's it. It's a cheap game. That's all. And you'll see a lot of other games which are there, like these all games. Most of the games here which are on sale, I suggest to instead of wasting your time and keeping it forever, buy an Xbox Game Pass which is for 14 days, is 50 rupees. And then for a month, it's 325 rupees. Go buy that and try the game if you really like it and want to treasure it and you will believe in game preservation then only buy it or else just you want to play for the sake of playing go get the xbox buy you'll get all the far cry games you'll get all the resident evil games you'll get all the doom games you'll get all almost all the assassin's creed games not all of them but the ones which are latest ones you'll get them all just don't worry about it don't be a dumb dub and waste your money on this seriously and at the end of the day what i can suggest to you is if you have some change left like how you go to shopping and you shop everything and you are like a budget round figure and you want to round figure up go to the featured deep discount thing check some of the cheap games uh i'll, I'll just balloon td6 if you have played plant vs zombies go buy that all these smaller game disco asylum is too glazed don't even dare to buy it you'll just sleep off unless and until you are a story rich guy and all the other games which are there here just go and try them if you really uh, Arkham Knight, if you haven't played Arkham Batman games, if you have like heard about it or like like Celeste or Borderlands if you, or Civilization 6, if I heard about it, then go and buy it because they're all cheap games, 100 rupees and all. It's uh, some games here are like experiences to do in, pretty good experiences, like I said. Just go and buy them if you want. That's all. That, that, that's a change once. Okay, and that's all I want to end up here. Oh my god, my wish list is not very good. Okay, hey, that's all I want to end up here. And pretty much, not all, almost all the games you see are all the sale and all the time. They give in the sales all the time. Only the selected few ones which don't come out for sale are the ones you're supposed to uh, buy in, which I chosen at the beginning. Just go and buy them. They are great. Except that the only question I have is why does this girl has knee wounds on her knees? <laughs> Hello guys, thanks for watching and I hope you guys have a quicker quicker sales. Bye and I'll meet you all tomorrow. Peace. Why would I meet you?